we, we've been noting today marked what's called the safe harbor deadline. That's the date by which uh, the states, all 50 states and the District of Columbia were supposed to have certified the election. I think 49 actually did and the District of Columbia. Uh, how significant is the timing of the Supreme Court denial coming, what, just minutes before 5 p.m. Eastern? Uh, that, that, that I thought it was pretty significant, the timing of this. I think it's hugely significant, Wolf, uh, for a couple of reasons. One is, I mean, keep in mind, uh, you have a couple of members on the Supreme Court right now in Amy Coney Barrett and Brett Kavanaugh uh, who worked on the Bush v. Gore case on behalf of uh, former President George W. Bush uh, in the 2000 uh, Florida recount battle. Uh, if those justices are looking at the facts at hand here and not determining that the president, uh, outgoing President Trump, has, has a case here, then that's it. As, as Laura Coates was saying, the jig is up. I, I, I do think because... Uh, you have a couple of justices on the Supreme Court who have expertise in Bush versus Gore. I mean, I, I do think that that is significant. I, I think if they had seen anything here uh, to weigh their, their to weigh in uh, to to bring the court into this sort of uh, in, into this sort of battle, that they would have done so. I, and I think the other uh, item that you need to take a look at, Wolf, is the the um, the Trump campaign, the Trump legal team, uh, Jenna Ellis and Rudy Giuliani put out a statement earlier today talking about this safe harbor day. Uh, and they, they seem to acknowledge that it exists and that it is, it is sort of a deadline for these legal challenges. But what they're saying in their statement is that they believe that they can go past these challenges and take this uh, right into January. Wolf, what the president and his legal team is asking the country to do is to endure another three or four weeks of these cockamamie uh, legal challenges that are just not, never going to hold up in court and he's and he and this legal team is asking the rest of the Republican Party to go along with this clown car parade and it's just never going to, it's never going to end in the result of the president holding on to the White House all it's going to do as Gloria was saying and the rest of us have been saying is raise more money for the president uh, for future ambitions yeah I mean he, he lost the national popular vote by more than seven million votes not one million to seven million votes. Uh, and as, as far as the all-important electoral college is concerned, uh, Biden has 306 electoral votes uh, and Trump has 232. You need 270 to 32.